high seventh grade. Hope you guys are all doing good today on this Friday. It is Friday, uh, March 27th, and we made it through another week. Hope everybody is doing well and staying healthy and still being able to get outside and get a little bit of exercise. Okay, um, today we are going to be continuing to work through your packet, page nine. And again, these questions are going to be on Google Classroom. So that's where you're going to be able to open them up and solve them there. You're welcome to solve them here to show your work first and then just simply put your answer in Google Classroom so I can grade it there. Okay, we're, this is a review. We did some of these decimal operations um, last, last week in our last packet. So just to review, if when you're adding or subtracting fractions, you want to line up the decimals. So I'm going to do a couple of those for you. I'm also going to do a couple of, um, or one, at least one of each, one adding and then one multiplication and then one division. And then I'll put some of these on the uh, Google Classroom for you guys to work out. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and use number one from your packet. So because I'm using it from your packet, then you're not going to be, um, this question will not be on Google Classroom. Because I'm adding, you want to reset up the problem up and down like this and line your decimals up and then simply add. There's an imaginary zero there. You can put a zero there if you want to, but you don't have to. Uh, two plus seven is nine. Bring your decimal straight down. Nothing changes in your for your decimal. Five plus two is seven. So this rule is for adding and subtracting. You line up the decimals. Now for multiplication, it's a little bit different. I'm going to look at uh, number four on your packet, 0 0.58, and I'm going to multiply that by 0 0.2. Notice I did not line up my decimals, but I did kind of try to keep my numbers in order here. Okay, we're going to do regular multiplication, start in your ones place. Two times eight is 16. You need to regroup the ones or the one, which is actually in the tens place. So the one has to go up here, the six goes down here. Two times five is 10, plus one more is 11. One here and one here to make 11. Two times zero is zero, plus one is one. Now you have to figure out what to do with the decimal. Hopefully you remember this from the video and the lesson that we did last week. You need to count how many place values your decimal is from the right to the left. So I have one, two, three. So there's an imaginary decimal after every number. So because I have to move it three places up here, I have to move it three places in my answer. So if I have an imaginary decimal here, one, two, and three. So it's going to be placed right there. So your answer is actually going to look like this, which is 116 thousandths. Try to get in the habit of putting the zero in front of the decimal and not just leaving it like this. Okay, that it just helps you out later on when you start to do more operations with decimals. So that's multiplying. And division. Now this one can be a little trickier. I'm going to do number seven on your packet on page seven, uh, nine. So 0 0.4, 0 0.92. You cannot do division with a decimal on the outside. This is called your div divisor. You've got to move that decimal. So in order to get rid of it, I'm going to move it once to the right. If the decimal was here, I would have to move it twice to the right to get rid of it. So my new divisor is simply four. Whatever you do to the outside, you've got to do to the inside. Because I moved the decimal once on the outside, I have to move it once on the inside. My new number for my dividend becomes 9.2 or nine and two tenths. You don't even need that zero in front. So now I'm going to do what I do. You don't have to do this, but to me, right away, I get that decimal and I put it right up top. That way I know I'm not going to forget it. You put it directly above wherever it is in your dividend. So 4 times 2 
is 8. I'm pretending that decimal isn't even there. I'm just doing regular, multi uh, regular division. 9 take away 8 is 1. Bring down your 2. 4 times 3 is 12. So you have a total of 2 and 3 tenths. So that's division. Okay, and I am going to put a couple of those uh, word problems too, so I want you to make sure you're reading them very carefully. So hopefully this is good, and once again, I forgot to start with prayer. I am so sorry. Okay, let's do that. I get all involved and get too busy, and I forget, and I shouldn't do that. Okay, uh, in the name of Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, so that was a real quick video for today to wrap up our week. Make sure you go on Google Classroom to answer the questions, and I will keep you posted for next week, and we'll kind of reevaluate and see how this Google Classroom worked for us, and if we liked it, and if it was the, the right platform that you guys would like to use. Okay, enjoy your weekend, get some rest, and I will speak to you next week. Okay, guys, Sacred Heart of Jesus, pray for us.